Hi everyone, this is Ants. Back in early February, I did a video explaining how to use Jigglebones 2.02. And I did that because I knew Godot 4.4, and at that time it was still in beta and they were still developing it, was coming out with a new node called Springbones Simulator 3D. And now that Godot 4.4 is out, we I could do a, a direct comparison. And the one on the right with the blue label is the Springbone Simulator 3D, uh, which is using uh, Godot 4.4, and then the other one with the red label is Jigglebones. And as you can see, they kind of uh, behave a little differently, but I wouldn't um, focus on that too much because they all have different in dampening. Uh, both of them have gravity turned off, so that's why it's all over the place. And so uh, this video is basically going to talk about why the Godot 4.4 Springbone uh, Simulator 3D is better because there's a lot of quality of life features. It has it is has more features. It's easier to use, and generally, I think it's more smooth. Um, however, Jigglebones 2.02 has its places. If you're still not using Godot 4.4, then Jigglebones is the only thing you can use. So there's still a place for Jigglebones 2.02. So that being said, is let's go into details of why I think the the Springbone Simulator 3D node that's built into Godot 4.4 is actually the preferred way to go. So let's get started. Okay, so um, this is the Jigglebone stuff and I will link in the description my previous video. I'm not going to go into too detail how to use Jigglebones because my previous video does a better job. But basically you have to define a node, a Jigglebone bone node for each single bone that you want to jiggle and you have to independently uh, configure each one. And one of the things that is not good is you have to type in the bone name. You literally have to type it in or you copy and paste it from the skeleton here, right? And then you, you grab it and then you have to paste it in here. That is a strike against jiggle bones because you might type it in wrong or it's just, it's too cumbersome and that sort of thing. The other thing is you, if, if everything behaves the same, you literally have to go through each one and configure all of them to the default setting that you want. So that's another thing uh, that is a minus for Jigglebones, okay? Um, in terms of how it looks, <coughs> it looks fine. Uh, personally, I think the Godot one is a lot smoother, but this is just, it's good enough for anything that you need, okay? Again, Jigglebones is the only uh, kind of option. Well, there's other ones too, but I think this is half a decent uh, plugin for 4.3 and below. Okay, so let's look at uh, the Godot uh, Springbone Simulator 3D node. Okay, one of the things off the bat is you only need one node for a collection of bones that all behave together. So I have one for the tail, one for the left ponytail and one for uh, the right ponytail. And that's great because all you have to do here is you define the root bone name, which is the first bone that you want, right? And you just click on here and you find it. And I, I selected the tail. And then you have to select the extend end bone, or sorry, the end bone. And I go all the way to the, uh, to the nub. And that's basically it. Once you select these two, what happens is it actually creates the joints for you, right? This, first of all, you can't really uh, screw up the name because you're selecting it from the actual uh, skeleton bone, which is fantastic. And you could start the beginning of the collection and the end of the collection, which is awesome. Now, there may be some uh, situations where you actually want to individually config each one of the joints, right? And if you select this to be individual configs, now every all these uh, individual bones and all um, parameters like gravity, drag, stiffness, radius, all that are configurable. But when you turn it off, it's read only. Now. My jiggle um, is very simple. They all have the same uh, parameters, right? 
So the same stiffness or the default st uh, stiffness, I turn gravity off. So I don't need to do anything. This is very handy. The, honestly, so the quality of life on the starting of the bone, the ending of the bone, um, individual configs turning it off, by default it is off, is hands down amazing and uh, it's great to use. The other thing is you, you need less nodes and the other thing is there's a lot more configuration here. You have radius, sti uh, stiffness, drag, gravity, right? And that sort of thing. So yeah, I mean, I, I think it's, it's, it's pretty good and let's see how it looks. It's a lot more smoother if you actually see. I think it's a lot smoother. So hands down winner is good old 4.4 Spring Bone Simulator 3D. It's actually fantastic. The only, I don't consider this a negative, but the only thing to kind of uh, remember is yours, you have a lot more configuration. Like I honestly don't know the radius. I think it's the radius of kind of the bone, how big is the bone and stuff. Oh, there is another benefit. Every single config has a curve uh, amount. So let's just say you want gravity to have a curve or the drag value or the stiffness value, you could define a curve for each one and the radius too. So honestly, well done. Um, so that's basically it. The jury is out. Um, Godot 4.4, I think they did a good job of it. I, I thought it was gonna be a lot more over-engineered it is a little bit more engineered than Jiggle Bones, but it's actually, they did a really, really good job, in my opinion. Um, so moving forward with 4.4, use the Spring Bone Simulator 3D. It didn't. It actually took less time to actually get this uh, working than before. So that's basically it. So let's just run this and end with that. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you're using 4.4 of Godot, use the spring bone simulator 3d if you're using 4.3 or less use jiggle bones and you have your jiggle physics okay anyways thanks for watching and take care bye